In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Sheets to create a checklist. This is a sample checklist that I've made that you're welcome to use. Um, if you click on the link in the blog post, it will ask you to make a copy of it in your own Google Drive. And once you've made a copy, you can go in and make any edits that you'd like. So I have it set up where you can type in the student names on the left here, and then you can double click on any of these tasks and add in the name of your activity or worksheet or quiz or whatever it is that you want to keep track of. Um, if you need more room for it to show up here, you can go on the left hand side and just adjust the size of that row there. Um, you could also highlight all of these and change the font size. That would be another way to do it. Um, so you can see I have all these checkboxes here, and I also have it set up to tally the points. Um, I assign each checkbox one point, and then as I check them or uncheck them, it will adjust the total over here on the right-hand side. So I'll show you how I did that on a blank spreadsheet just so you can see how to make your own. So to create checkboxes, what you do is highlight all of the cells where you want a checkbox to appear. And then you go to data and data validation. The criteria here, the default is going to say list from a range. So if you click that and then down here at the bottom, it says checkbox. So you can just hit save if you just want um, regular checkboxes without any points assigned to them. If you want them to have certain point values, you click here where it says use custom cell values. And I have it set up to have each one that's checked to be worth one point and if it's not checked to count as zero point. So in the sample checklist that I've made, I have each checkbox set up to be worth one point. If you'd like to change a certain activity to be worth more than one point, what you would do is just highlight all of those cells that you want to be different, go back to data, data validation, and then you can change the point value right here where it says checked. So you can adjust the points if you'd like to that way. If you're making a checklist from scratch, you'll notice that the default color is going to be this light gray. If you want to change that color, you just um, select the cells that you want to be changed and then change the color of the text. So you can make it um, any of the colors that you see here, or you can click this custom button if you want to be more specific on what color you'd like. Um, and then that will change the color of the outline and then the change the color of the background as you check that box. So I have different colors that I used here just to help uh, make it look a little more organized, but you can go and highlight any of those colors and change them to whatever you'd like them to be. One last thing I wanna point out is that you may have noticed that these rows alternate from this light gray to white, and you can also adjust those colors if you want something different. So to adjust that, what you would do is highlight all of the cells that you want to be different. Then you would go to Format, and then click down here at the bottom where it says Alternating Colors. And so you can see right here I have it switching back and forth between white and this light gray. Um, you can change that if you want to change it to one of these default style colors, or you can just click on each one and change them individually. So I hope this video is helpful for you and make sure to click on that link in the blog post so that you can make your own copy and then feel free to make any edits to this that you'd like to make it your own.